this is straight up a laser weapon mastercraft in vanguard today we got the brand new tread lightly mastercraft bundle augment reality with the new tracer pack mastercraft with holographic green tracers starting off with the main attraction we got the prototype 0082 very futuristic looking with kind of like green holographic stuff coming with holographic green tracers as always we're going to be testing this out in zombies multiplayer and then hopping into warzone seeing how everything works in all of those modes then we've got the secondary blueprint for the lmg here it looks kind of cool definitely not as cool as the mastercraft then we've got an operator skin which is very different i actually really like this it's got a really weird effect on the front of it this is for thomas then we've got the signal loss emblem which looks kind of cool we got the system checks which reminds me of a zombies dark ops we've got this mvp highlight yeah very simplistic nothing to write home about then we've got the tank bot charm which is kind of cute we've got the flooded vessel sticker we've got the ringleader sniper scope and then we've got the i'll run you over thomas quinn i may not be a tank but i'll damn sure run you over and with that let's go ahead buy this bundle getting another mastercraft here on vanguard here's what the operator skin looks like in the menu still got that really cool green holographic effect and look at these giant shoulders this is actually one of the dlc operators so if you didn't buy the other bundle with thomas this is going to be a brand new operator for you to level up and i don't think many people bought this original bundle all right here we go first impressions it kind of looks basic and a little bit weird let's go ahead test out the tracer fire Ooh, it's got like a really cool looking holographic tracer fire it's not as noticeable as some of the other bundles we've recently reviewed but the muzzle flash is really sick as well so as for a dismemberment effect it doesn't seem to have any which it didn't say that it had any so that makes sense i wonder what this is going to look like with the iron sights we'll have to test that on a second all right time for the inspect let's see how it looks oh please tell me that's not it okay so that is a very very basic inspect this is one of the more garbage <sighs> yeah there's been a lot of bad mastercrafts in vanguard the last few have been pretty good this one is is pretty underwhelming i definitely think this looks better with the iron sights if i oh wow you can even see more of like the vent shooting out the holographic stuff when i'm running this weapon i'm definitely gonna be using the iron sights this is the volk if you're wondering i know it's really hard to tell yes this is the volk assault rifle which is the first mastercraft slash cool variant we've seen for the volk so for your human huge fan of the Volk. I know it's really good in like multiplayer. This might be a weapon you would want to get. Here it is on a darker map and it does show up a little bit better on a darker map. The tracer fire, everything about this bundle is a little, ooh yeah, it glows definitely a lot better on a darker map here. But for multiplayer players, it's not going to help a ton. But if you're a zombies player playing the first map, which is very dark, it does stand out a lot more. Now it's time to test out camos on this Mastercraft. But before we do that, if you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate it. We do in-depth reviews of all bundles in this game, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, and obviously Modern Warfare for two when it releases later this year and if you left a comment or a like on this video i appreciate it a ton pack a punch time let's see how the coverage looks like on this weapon got really good coverage you can still see all of the green holographic stuff as for zombie pack a punch camos this is definitely a pass ranking for me i love when weapons incorporate the normal design and the camo design very well here we are in a brighter map and it becomes a lot harder to see the moving lines once you're on a brighter map i think if we go in a darker area yeah now you can see it really well but you lose a lot of the detail in brighter environments like you see in multiplayer go ahead give it an inspect still looking good this definitely favors darker map environments though here is the lmg variant you get as well looking pretty sick camos are probably going to cover it up completely let's see if it glows as well it does seem to glow just not as bright here's what gold looks like on the mastercraft this thing looks really good with camos that's really the best thing about this is camo coverage looks really well on it as for the lmg yeah we're not even going to show the rest of the camos because it covers up every little bit of it even the light on the back the mp diamond camo kind of adds to that futuristic look of the weapon i kind of like it usually i don't like the diamond camo with atomic it just feels like there's too much going on you've got the green that's moving and then you've got like the fruit roll up that's moving now for my personal favorite camo in vanguard the golden viper camo looks pretty solid on this weapon not too distracting goes with the green very well now for plague diamond and i think this looks just a little bit better than the normal diamond camo on this i almost never say this but dark aether on this kind of a vibe it fits so well with the green that this might be the best camo option and trust me the dark aether camo in vanguard's almost never the best option but the green just matches it so well even with the light up effects on the side i might be running this with dark aether which this is definitely a first for vanguard here's what the skin looks like in a third 
third person view overall the skin's pretty basic with the biggest selling feature being that holographic face mask you can even see it as another operator looking at it and if you look at it in a light area you really can see that you can't see it that much besides on the mask however if you look at it in a more darker area you can clearly see that holographic kind of tint slash light coming off on it here's the attachment test let's see how this mastercraft looks like when you start taking off attachments most of the time this doesn't work very well the mastercrafts look really bad when you start taking off attachments so the muzzle didn't really do anything the underbarrel didn't do anything the magazine does make a difference the grip doesn't the stock usually has a big effect so yeah unless you want to use the stock that comes on this it does take away a lot from the weapon here optic doesn't do anything oh and the barrel take i mean this isn't that bad looking the blueprint isn't terrible when you start taking everything off but it does make a pretty massive difference it actually doesn't look that bad in game when you take the attachments off most other mastercrafts the inspect okay the inspects a little off but most other mastercrafts when you take off the attachments don't work at all but uh i mean this thing's passable you could probably rock whatever attachments you want on it and it's still gonna have that mastercraft vibe just not as cool as the default attachments these are the attachments that come on the blueprint if that's important to you for the muzzle it's the f stabilizer the barrel is the 407 custom the optic is the slate reflector the stock is the 2022 v adjustable the under barrel is the strafe angled the magazine is the 0.3 russian short 45 we got the subsonic anotype uh the rear grip is the pine tar grip proficiencies gung-ho and the kit is on hand here we are in the war zone menu the skin pretty much looks exactly the same looking at the weapons and the camo coverage fortunately enough we are able to apply the mastery camos on the mastercraft itself usually we can't here in war zone looks pretty sick we'll have to test that out in game as for the disc plate if we start putting a camos on this it covers up the entire thing here we are in the warzone plane looking sick near oh here's the mastercraft in warzone very bright very vibrant you can definitely see the green moving all that stuff inspect looks pretty much the same actually working here in warzone still kind of disappointing go ahead test out the tracer fire the muzzle effect is here it doesn't seem to be as notable let's go into a little darker of an area see if we can notice the muzzle flash maybe a little bit more yeah it's there it's just not as noticeable which we've seen that with the other blueprints in warzone compared to in vanguard the tracer effect still pretty much the exact same Ooh, and here's the gold on the mastercraft camos on this look so freaking clean the gold looking absolutely fantastic unfortunately the zombie camos don't work so we're not going to be able to see what the golden viper looks like just because there are no zombie uh vanguard camos in warzone yet all right here we go and this is the diamond camo looking pretty sick on this and then last but not least is the atomic camo which ooh, there's just too it's just too much going on like i like the atomic camo in a lot of mastercrafts but with this and the green i just the colors don't clash very well at all with that boys we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this bundle review overall if you don't own thomas as an operator yet it kind of makes a little bit of sense to get this if you care about maxing out all the operators because this is probably going to be the best bundle you're going to receive with the thomas operator because you do get a mastercraft that looks kind of good with it overall as like a bundle itself if you don't include the fact that you get a new operator in it I'm probably gonna give this one a three out of 10. It's not the worst bundle we've ever seen, but as of the Mastercrafts that we've gotten this season, I think this is the worst Mastercraft we've got this entire season. It's just, it's kind of basic. The inspect's basic. Everything about this bundle is fairly basic. But with that, boys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. Let me know how you personally feel about this bundle. Everyone's got different opinions. I lay everything out. That way you can watch the video, get all the information you need to know to make an informed purchase on this. And you might love what you see. You might hate it, but that's the point of these videos here if you guys want to see more episodes like this where we fully review in-depth bundles make sure to sub to the channel because like i said any bundle coming out for this game cold war modern warfare 2019 modern warfare 2 even cod mobile for the most part we're going to be covering uh thank you guys so much for watching if you left a like or a comment i appreciate you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one peace i want to give a massive thanks to everyone who's gone above and beyond and became an unlock plus plus member here on youtube we got the goat positive expert the most op gobblegum ever round robin the absolute chad noah the most patient man i've ever met cody chapman and the legend army tech rex